So we have made it editable, right? Object you let it be blank. Now we'll be saving it and just go here and take action and the correction. Make that object you as auto number and details read only. Visibility read only. Done. Yes. String is basically alphanumeric number is only number auto number is it should automatically get populated. Let me check. Now it is not. Sometimes you have to just log out and log in to make the changes applicable. Read only. Let me check now. Manage data. Correction. Now, objective it is hidden. Now, let me give the number. For example, let me check. Let me change something. Do legal entity object right company now here let me change the legal entity name as one two three for example we'll be selecting this this and done and objective we have given auto number now save it see any random number it is we have not entered the number any random number system is picking up because we have selected auto number fee data type got it now now this is the main important features of data type suppose if you want to change the data type into something else go here first you have to make it the field now it is disabled right how to make it editable you have to go here and editable k 
keep it as editable <coughs> and if you want to do uh, keep any pick list if you want to assign any pick list for this data type then how to do that just go to details here only data type you will be selecting pick list and we have created any pick list value i guess how to do how to select this value valid source now for objective we don't have pick list how to set, give it pick list you will be just going to you will be just duplicating <clears throat> go to pick list center assign any value how to assign that id you have to assign the id of pick list so you have to go to pick list center and here we have i guess we have created one pick list right For example, say for example, says you can just keep the example of salutation just for our reference. So, what is the code? It is salutation. You have to copy this. In case if any requirement is there for fit pick list, you have to paste this. Then save. Yes. data select company these are small small things but in case if any requirement is there then accordingly you can design your field Objective. Previously, this drop down was visible to you. But showing no result. Pick list. We have assigned pick list. Valid source is. This is the code. Let me select, assign this and see.
correction let us once log out and log in Basically, you should assign code only. I think maybe the this legal entity date uh, effective date may be different means it is effective from so and so date I think that that can also be the issue let me go to manage data this may be the old illegal entity so let us create our legal entity company here in objective see can you able to find now values hello yes so like that you can just assign the pick list because the previous legal entity which we are trying to edit maybe the it is created long back then the pick list is configured because effective date may be different so that's the reason it is, it is not showing so now if you are creating you can able to see the objectives so like that you can create your own objective and paste it over here and if you want any special date over there then you have to just remove this salutation for date you have to mention date like this you can just configure you can just try it different uh, data types and see how it is reflecting in the front end in manage data date means it will be only in date format nothing else let us refresh it like this date is the start date then object you see date format came right hmm? so there are many enum enum is like active inactive type you can just 
select the enum and check if it is working or not. So there are various, according to the requirement, you can just change the date types. Okay, enum is basically it's a, it is a predefined, which is only given by success factors. So if you want to, a yes or no to be a, a custom configured, you have to select it as pick list. So for example, anywhere enum is applicable. For example, status, effective status, enum is applicable. Here, what is effective status, active, inactive, right? So in yeah. case, if you want to custom create any uh, values like active and inactive, then the same thing, you, uh, it is predefined enum. You have to go to pick list and in the pick list center, you have to create the pick list with active and active. Okay. So that's what the main use of enum. And what is this foundation objects? If I see, if you see location, location is XML object, which I'll be teaching you in future classes. Then here, from where it is showing the location, this is not pick list. These are the configured location in the system from where it is showing. So this valued source in the XML code, you will be finding this value source as location. So where, whenever you are just linking to the XML objects, foundation objects, foundation objects is nothing but XML. Keep in mind, whenever there is foundation objects in the dropdown, it is XML. If it is generic object, it is MDF object. Okay. Location is foundation objects. So you are just creating the field location and linking it to the foundation objects then you need to specify value source this is nothing but anything you can't write over here what is there in the id code you will be mentioning this location got it code id this is xml code id which will be i will be teaching in uh, when we'll be starting xml how to how to view the location code in generic object what is code Suppose we are uh, operating legal entity. This is generic object. Now the code is legal entity. Like that in XML also, the code will be there. Code name will be location. That you have to copy and paste it here. As you can see the legal entity, right? The same way location code will be there. So foundation, I will be showing an example for generic objects. For example, any generic object is there. Yeah, pay group is there. And what are they there? uh currency and country also will be the generic object let me say ah, country of registration here in details it is showing generic object from where this country is coming in manage data if you see country already countries are predefined in success factors these countries from where it is showing where it is taking if you are mentioning data type as generic object and valid source as country from where valid source is taking if you go to manage data and write country region so you are you are just having these countries from where it is showing in the configure object definition how to configure generic object it is through configure object definition right XML objects, we are not yet started. So generic object is to con uh, configure object definition. Now, if you are just mentioning the country, country region, for example, any country you can say Afghanistan. So basically, it is taking from legal entity. So the code code is country. Here we are selecting the generic object. Then the code is, then the code you have to mention it as country. And just I will be showing configure object definition. <coughs>
now select country object definition now i'll be selecting country country region this one now nothing you can you can't just mention anything in xml also there will be code like this country you are just uh, specifying the field that yeah what is what should be the system of uh, country of registration name is country of registration we can write any name that's not a problem then we are just directing that it should take it should take from generic object okay then system will ask which generic object then you have to go in configure object definition these are predefined you have to just select country region this code this code you are just copying and pasting it here then you are saving it okay. and then in the front end in the front end in company company is legal entity we have changed the name then here in the place in country you will be finding this country this is not pick list it is taking from the font generic objects okay if the location you want to assign it you have to just mention foundation objects any xml object if you want to assign it to the field to this legal entity field if you want to create any field and assign it to the xml object then you are just mentioning you should mention foundation object if you are assign it to the it to the uh, mdf object right now we are dealing with mdf then you have to select it as generic object okay mdf object is termed as generic object xml object is termed as foundation <coughs> object just okay. make sure that got it yes then this is how you can just play it around with your data type whatever custom fields you can want to include in the already uh, existing mdf objects you can just include it and assign it as you can assign it pick list you can create a pick list back and assign it to the pick list and date time decimal means it will be just right uh, once if uh, all this what are applicable all this uh, data types so boolean is basically yes or no it will be only two yes or no auto number i showed you attachment is basically any attachment it will provide you the link to attach the files any document string is this translatable what is translatable if we select translatable and save it okay we are we are doing uh, translatable for country and region now just refresh it reload for our custom object we will be doing translatable don't touch this country or region <coughs> where is our yeah this is our object right suppose we are doing translatable save <coughs> yes refresh it so if you are doing translatable object you are translatable you can see this icon right what we have uh, we have seen this icon once we have name it here we go here and name it here right now translatable is Transl trans translatable in into different languages. For example, we are writing J J J J. Copy. Previously, this icon was not there. We will be using this. So this is translatable. This we can use it and save it. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. yes. <clears throat> These are the various data types. Now, 
from tomorrow we'll be starting the associations part how to associate with each objects okay okay then any doubts oh okay. no okay just go go on practicing and let me know if you are facing any right. doubts in this okay okay right. thank you welcome bye bye